this is the real Tom Rose. And this question starts out looking really confusing and really hard with lots of ins, lots of outs. You're gonna feels like you're gonna need lots of formulas and things. But if you just start writing down what they're telling you, at the end, the answer actually is just sitting right on the surface. So if A, it they tell us A B is parallel to C D. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in right here. And says A C D is a right isosceles triangle. So that they have the right triangle in there. They do not have the isosceles. So I'm gonna draw that in here. And they tell us that uh, CD equals six. So that has a measure of six, which means AC has a measure of six. And that's actually the side that we need. And they tell us AB has a length of four. What's the area of ABD? Well, fortunately, the way that you, so the way that you calculate the area of, so we're trying to figure out the area of this triangle right here. The way that you do that is the formula of the triangle is one half um, base times height. And this is kind of a weird triangle, but if you set this as the base, the height, the way that you figure out the height is you take, um, you take the opposite vertex and you drop that down to a point that intersects at a right angle with the base. But notice that this is a square. Sorry, it's a, it's a rectangle. Uh, it happens to be a square, but it's, it, we've set up a rectangle and we actually know that height. It is six. You can read it off the other side. And this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So that's how you know that we actually have created a rectangle. It's not something that's like close to looking like a rectangle, but not quite. Um, it's an actual rectangle. And so we can just plug in. So the area of the triangle is one half base of four um, height of six, which equals 12. 